You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video today showing you all how to install and set up Feeding Frenzy 1 on Windows 10. So many of you might be familiar with Feeding Frenzy. I actually just did a series on it yesterday. And uh, for many of you, it's probably a game you played like me as a kid and love playing and want to go back and revisit. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, the PC version of the first Feeding Frenzy game is abandonware. Queerly enough, they still sell it on Steam for the second Feeding Frenzy, the sequel, but the first one is abandoned. You can still buy it on Xbox, but not PC. Very weird, I don't get it either, but either way, I went ahead and uploaded it to archive.org for you guys since it's abandonware, so you can find it linked down below in the description, it'll take you to this page, and you can just go over here to this little zip folder, see, and you can hit that little download button, and uh, it's only like a little over 7 megabytes per second. Or per second, that's funny, that's internet speeds. No, it's only 7.6 metabytes, it's super tiny. Um, so yeah, you can download this as a zip file, it downloads pretty quick, depending on your internet speed. And once you download it, you're pretty much done. You can just go ahead and extract it and run the executable. And the game will run like right out of the box on Windows 10. It's one of those oddly, very well-made, compatible games, right? Crazy, considering it's from 2004. Uh, but here's the thing, even though you can do that, that doesn't necessarily mean you should, because while the game does run and does work, it only does it in four by three resolutions, which means it's gonna be kind of launching as a square and you're gonna have black bars on the side of your screen. Now, some of you might not care. You wanna play the game exactly the way you played it as a kid on a CRT monitor, all good for you, okay? You're done. But for those of you who want to play this game with widescreen support, I got a cool little trick for you. It's a little program called DG Voodoo 2. And if you've seen any of my other videos on how to like download Chicken Invaders or whatever, you're probably familiar with this program. Um, it doesn't work on every game, but it works on very many of them, and Feeding Frenzy is one of them. So you're going to want to go ahead and download the latest version of this. At the time I'm making this video, it's 2.75.1, and then you can extract this. Uh, I have WinRAR. If you don't, you just have regular Windows Zip Extractor. You can use that. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to take... I'm just going to open up a new folder here, or new window. Excuse me. Make things easier. All right, so I'm going to take DG Voodoo. These two right here are the conf and the executable files. I'm just going to move them over here. I'm going to open up the MS folder, open up x86, and then I'm just going to drag and drop all these in here too. Okay, so now I want to right-click DG Voodoo CPL.exe, and I want to run it as administrator. If I just open up it up regularly, it's not going to work. So we're going to run that as an administrator. And all right, up here where it says config folder, running instance, you want to hit this little period slash button. Right, and that basically makes it the uh, makes whatever folder it's currently in the running instance one, so that's what you want. Okay, so then you're done in general. So you want to go direct X, you want to go down here and uncheck this DG Voodoo watermark box. Now, if you have a video card in your computer, if you're like a hardcore gamer, you can change this VRAM from 256 to 1024. If you don't have a video card or you don't know what that is, don't worry about it, just leave it at default. Now, resolution. So this is what we want to change. This is the important part. So what this is going to do is it's going to make the game kind of like force it to run at a resolution native to your monitor. So basically what you want to do is you want to go on this list and pick the highest resolution you can. For some of you, that's going to be 1920 by 1080p. For me, it's 2560 by 1440p. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Then you want to hit apply and then you want to hit OK. And you are now done. If we double click feeding frenzy.executable, you will see it launches in 1440p. Slightly stretched, but uh, once you start playing, you won't even notice. So, yeah, guys, that's how to download, install, and set up Feeding Frenzy 1 and play it on your modern Windows 10 computer in 2021. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please do leave a big old like on it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I will see you all at the top. I think we should cross the river now.